In this video, I'm going to teach you how to convert a numbered chord chart into your typical chord chart with regular chords on it. So it's just like the other lesson that is the opposite, converting a chord chart into numbers, but I'm going to walk you through this. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to get out or write out the musical alphabet, which is covered in other lessons. And uh, for this purpose, I'll just, I've already written it out. So I'm just going to show you 12 notes, 12 different notes with different, five of them have different names for them. Okay, so after you got this out, you just want to pick a song that you want to convert. So for this purpose, I have a song called Here I Go. Here I Go, and this is just a short version of it but it'll be enough to get the, the lesson across. And then the next thing you need to do is determine what key you want to write this. Remember, one of the benefits of writing it in the numbered chart like this is you can play it in all keys, all 12 keys. However, typical chord charts are written in a specific key, so it's kind of limiting, but let's say you have people who don't know how to read numbers. Don't look down on them, just go the extra mile and write it in a chord chart, typical chord chart in the key that you want to play. So let's pick a key. Um, so the first one, let's say first key we will pick is, let's pick A, which is easy. So you, you remember you have to go and number out these charts using the formula for a major scale, which is root whole whole half whole 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 half so if we're in the key of a the root is here root and that's number one and then you go root whole whole it's two whole three half four whole five, whole, six, whole, seven, and half goes back to the root. Now, if you're just totally confused by what I did, that means you didn't watch the previous videos that talk about the major scale and also how um, the major scale and the number system kind of you know are correlated so go back and watch that and then you'll understand this so once you have this this is pretty easy uh, you do have to also remember that um, how the chord progression and the number system work in that chords one four and five are major chords two three and six are minor if you don't know what I'm talking about here, go and look at the chord progression theory using the number system lesson and it'll teach you what that's all about. And then once you do that, this is super easy. Um, one, it's A. Two, B minor. Remember, twos are minors. Four is a major, is a D. Five is a major, E. It's a major because we're only using the basic three note chords for now. One, A, two, B minor, four, D, five, E. Six is here. Now you remember you can call it either F sharp or G flat. Um, it's because it's just the location on, on your instrument. but. For you know purposes here, we'll call it F sharp, but it's a six chord. And what type of chord is a six? Minor. That's right. Two, three, and and sixes are minor. F sharp minor. Three is one, two, three. C sharp or D flat. C sharp, but a three chord is a what? Minor. That's right. Four is a major. It's a D. 1 over 3, this is a slash chord. Whatever's on the left represents the chord. Whatever's on the right represents a bass note, the lowest note played. So 1 is an A major chord. 
slash three is a C sharp or D flat. Now this might be a little confusing, but you don't put a minor here because even though threes are minor chords, you remember in a slash chord, what's on the right side is only a note. So C sharp is a note which is neither major or minor. I have a lesson on slash chords you can go watch that explains this. Two is a B minor. Five is an E. So that is how you would convert a number chart into a typical chord chart. I'm going to go do this one more time for you in a different key really quickly so that you can see one more example of this. Okay, so let's pick a key. I'm going to pick a weird key, F sharp. We're going to pick this as the root. Probably don't do this in F sharp, but hey, let's do this. So root is the number one. Two is a whole step. Three is a whole step. Four is a half step. Five is a whole step. Six, whole step. Seven is a whole step. And back to one. So in this key, this is what it would look like. One would be F sharp. Two. G sharp minor. Four is a B major. Five is a C sharp major. F sharp, G sharp minor, B, C sharp. Six is a, whoop, six is a D sharp minor. Three is A sharp minor. Four B. One over three is F sharp slash three. Remember, this is just the note. A sharp. Two G sharp minor. Five is C sharp major. And that's how you convert a numbered chord chart to a typical chord chart.